So now, let's see how we can work with short answer questions inside of Adobe Captivate. So to work with short answer questions, first you have to go to slide over here and then go to question slide. And once you go to question slide, you can see that short answer is an option right over here. So I'm going to bring in two short answer right here, which is both going to be graded. So you can make it a survey or a pretest if you want to. So I'm just going to make it graded right here and I'm going to press OK. So once I press OK, you can see that over here, the short answer question uh, actually pops up. Since I chose two question, two slides pop up. So I'm just going to go around here and delete out the first slide right over here. So I can just work around with these two. So I can go over here and type in my question right over here. So I can go over here, double click this and then type in my question. So I'm going to say, uh, which company is Captivate? made by so i can go over here and type in the answer right over here so i can go over here and give uh, it option right over here so i'm just going to say adobe which is one of the correct entries right over here i can make this case sensitive or not i can also add in another variation for example adobe adobe company so i'm going to say adobe company right over here so yeah uh, when the user either one of these options they will show it as right over here so in short answer you do want to give a bit of variation uh, because there might be many ways that people may, might type in and uh, might type the answers right over here so right over here there's adobe and adobe company right over here maybe you want to say adobe inc as uh, the uh, company as well just like this so you got three possible answer right over here which will be correct right over here and then over here you can go over here and type in another question so I'm going to say over here uh, photo uh, uh, what Adobe application is used for vector graphics design so the answer is adobe illustrator for this one so i can go over here and type in adobe illustrator right over here okay okay adobe illustrator another one over here i'm going to say illustrator and maybe i want to type in adobe illustrator cc and illustrator cc right so i got these entries right over here so now let's see how that actually looks like you can also go over here onto the quiz section and give points to each of them so uh what the, um, so the first one has 10 points as you can see so let me give two penalty for this question and one penalty if the answer is uh, wrong uh, from the user right over here. You can also set up other options right over here. So on success, I just wanted to continue and uh, finally got, get the result page over here. So now I'm going to go over around over here, go for preview section and then go for previewing the project right over here. So once I preview the project, it saves the file, it opens up the preview panel. So let me just play this around. And now it says which company is Adobe Captivate uh, made by. So I'm just going to say, Adobe company, which was one of our options right over here. Uh, I'm not going to be case sensitive, just like this, so Adobe company. Let me press submit. It says correct, as you can see right over here. And then it says which Adobe application is used for vector graphics design. I'm just going to type in Illustrator. Uh, I'm not going to be case sensitive again. Illustrator CC, just like this, submit it out and it says correct. And I get my result over here just like this. So if you want to change the pass grade, simply go to quiz, go to quiz preferences right over here. And then from quiz preferences, you can go over here onto the quiz to change the pass or fail percentage right over here. Right now it's set to 80%, so you can set to 40% as well. Press OK and then the pass grade will change accordingly just like that. So that is how you can set up short answer questions inside of Adobe Captivate. So hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.